Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra and if you are new here, we have a little homestead here on about 1.8 acres. We have large gardens and we have lots of chickens. So recently we have had some issues with our chickens, with raccoons, and now we have some fox issues. One thing I've been thinking about doing is clearing a lot of the area behind the barn where our chickens have their home and their run. So one thing I've been doing is weed eating around the barn because we have it on the edge of our forest. We don't have a whole lot of property, so it was the, really the only place to put it so it wasn't so close to the house. That being said, there's a lot of shrubbery, a lot of weeds growing up, and a few trees. So as I've been weed eating around the barn and around the coops, I've realized that I need something a little bit bigger. And I've been thinking about getting a little chainsaw and I'm not so keen on using the larger chainsaws. I've never used one before. Lo and behold, we get an email without us even thinking about it, requesting us to try their little mini chainsaw. It was like an answer to prayer. Anyways, we received this in the mail and I cannot wait to get started. So I can use this to kind of clean up some branches. I think it might be um, like a four inch or a six inch blade, but we're gonna open up and see what's inside. Ooh, this looks cool. And it comes with a pretty durable case too. So this is the Saker um, Mini Electric Chainsaw. It is a six inch blade, portable cordless electric chainsaw. I am quite interested in trying this out. And it actually comes, I believe, with a battery and charger as well. Let's open up and see. It says handheld chainsaw, pruning shears chainsaw for tree branches, house cold and garden. Satisfaction guaranteed. Ooh, neat. A pair of gloves, a little screwdriver, some oil or some bar oil and a little manual. Just has some precautions. Comes with um, six inch chain, another six inch chain. Uh, looks like some sort of torquing wrench. Safety goggles, always safety first, no matter how big your chainsaw is or equipment, make sure you've got eye protection. Got the charger, two batteries, and the chainsaw. That is really cool. I'm pretty excited. It's supposed to do um, some pretty good sized little trees, and I can't wait to go and get started and try this out in the bush and clear up the area around our chicken coop. My overall, it's pretty light. I don't know what it'd be with the battery, but I don't think it'd be super heavy. We'll get the review on the Saker Chainsaw. We have a fox and a couple raccoons that have been tormenting our chickens. And before I can get them out, I've got to clear up some brush. I've got to get some weed eating done. I've got to cut down some trees just to open it up. And possibly I'm going to be fencing in some more of the chickens just to make sure that I'm not going to lose any more. But to do that today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the Saker saw. This thing is amazing. Um, first steps first is you want to make sure you got some safety gear. Make sure that you realize this is not a toy just because it's little. This is an actual real mini chainsaw. So just make sure that you are not under the impression by just by its size that it can't do some real serious damage and can hurt you. So the first thing I did is I made sure that all my batteries are charged and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to actually oil the chainsaw before I begin to use it. This wrench and we have this um, hex bolt screw and you want to make sure that's tight tightened. Um, we did. We, may, we know that it's tightened already. Um, so we're just going to take some of this oil and we're going to make sure that it's going to go all the way around our chain so that we can use it properly. You just want to make sure it's all lubed up good so that your chainsaw works to its full potential. I think that's good. So just before I begin, I am going to let you know that this is a uh, sponsored product. We did receive this free in the mail. I will be giving you a true review. So with this saw, you don't want to cut anything they say that is bigger than a six inch um, diameter. Let's go try this on a few branches and see how it goes. I have to say, I'm super excited about this. We lost uh, one of our partridge Chanticleer hens last week, and we actually seen it being dragged off through here. So this is kind of our problematic area, as well as on the other side of the barn. And we are gonna be working at clearing this area a little bit. I'm not gonna be cutting down this. This is a wild apple tree. We use it um, quite frequently um, for things like jellies, but also it's a great pollinator for our other trees. So first we're starting off with the smaller. We'll work our way up to the larger branches again making sure that we've got everything safe, got your eye goggles on, anything else you need, 
um, make sure you put that on. So we'll start off small first. So you can see the size there. Um, cut super fast, really easy to do. So this one here is probably the largest that I've cut so far. Again, it didn't take long at all. Really easy to use. Another great thing about this little mini chainsaw is that I could use it. I wasn't comfortable using a larger chainsaw that like, my husband would use. These little chainsaws are not so intimidating. Just having it with you on the homestead, having it with you on your four-wheeler, it will come in handy for multiple, multiple things. I think it's lightweight, it's easy to use. So I gave my husband a shot with the Saker chainsaw uh, just to see how he liked it. We both had really good responses. We were very happy with this little mini chainsaw. We're very thankful that it was sent to us. We'd like to thank Saker for um, sponsoring us with this chainsaw. We think it'll be a great addition to any homestead. One thing I know it's gonna come in really handy for is delimbing. It made th the job really easy, especially if you're on a homestead said and you're cutting wood for your wood stove for the winter. Jason even went ahead and tried to cut like a larger diameter tree. It did work successfully. It was a little harder on the battery. We found the batteries lasted quite a long time but when using it for the larger tree it pretty much drained the whole battery itself. One thing that we noticed um, it did tend to the chainsaw stopped working when it would get like gunked up with wood chips but we're thinking that that's more of the line that it needed more oil on the chain and bar it didn't stop us from using it and it still works just fine so if you're thinking about getting a chainsaw like this um, we have a link that we can provide through our affiliate link we would like to thank you for watching this video and we hope that you would consider having such a handy tool around your homestead that will be used for multiple multiple things